Hey, Satari. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, I wanted to show you really quick about uh, what I was talking about with these uh, portable tanks here. So I set up a little uh, demonstration here. Um, what we were trying to show before, or um, what the other the other poster showed, was that uh, obviously you can you can take these and uh, you know dump water in like this. And what he was trying to show was that uh, once you pick these up, what you can do, I actually had to create some stairs here, there we go. Okay, what you can do is you can drop them on top here, right? And he was showing that if you whack this portion, uh, this is the liquid duct, and if you supply uh, a redstone signal to this portion of the liquid duct, what will happen is that the liquid duct itself will pump the water out of the tank like that okay and it will go into or it should actually go into why is this not working what did I mess up is this not a real tank oh I know why I forgot the top uh, I tried to set all this up before I got in here and I pooched it so the tank needs a valve on the top there we go okay so now that we actually have a valid tank, you see that the water drains into the tank here, and uh, there's the water. Okay. Now, what I was pointing out was that that is not needed because whenever you look at thermal expansion machines, and uh, I should have spawned one. Let's spawn uh, the one that everyone knows, the pulverizer. Okay. Whenever you look at the thermal expansion machines, what you'll notice is uh, the colored outputs but the two that are always the same are blue and uh, the orange blue is always default to input and orange is always a default a default for an output so what you see here is all of these tanks at the very bottom have that same blue color at the top they have the blue but at the bottom you see the blue outline right here as well as the uh, the outline on the tank itself well, what that means is that the the top and the bottom are both a valid input for this tank. Okay, and let me fill this one up real quick. But the other thing that it means is, just like the machine block here, this tank can be adjusted just like a liquid duct. So watch, if I whack it with a wrench, it turns orange. And from what I said before, the machines over here, orange means output. Okay, so if I pick it up, if you place one tank on top of another, like this, which uh, will create a stack just like a, uh, a Buildcraft tank stack, the top one switches over to yellow, or to orange, and it drops its, its liquid into the bottom one. And of course, as I fill up this bottom one here, and get it past the... Uh, eight uh, you'll see that it goes into the top tank so it basically is the same thing as the build craft tanks but with only half the liquids but the good part is uh, where's my wrench back there we go the good part is as we know we can pick these up but what that also means is if I take the tank with water and I place it here I don't have to whack on the liquid duct, okay? This liquid duct will, will transport power, uh, uh, liquid as long as the liquid is pumped into it and the tank pumps the liquid into the liquid duct. So that's all you need to do to, uh, to actually move. You don't need anything else other than this tank. Um, the tank itself will work with pretty much anything that takes a valid pipe input liquid pipe input. So if I fill this up and uh, pick it up here and come up here and if we take a look at, at, at this we've got 13, 000, uh, 13 buckets in there and if we drop the tank the portable tank here and we come down here and we whack it the water comes in. So it comes into Railcraft, anything that will 
you know, take a liquid input. Now the last thing, or the last portion that I want to show is uh, this works just as well for lava and uh, like uh, non buildcraft like IC machines. So we pick up the lava tank here and move this stuff around. And just to show you, there's nothing in the geothermal generator right now. Put th uh, whoops, put this on top of the on top of the generator. Whack it. It goes in, and there it is filling up. And now we're generating power. Uh, this is actually how I uh, filled up one of my geothermal generators in my uh, in in one of my worlds. I I would take one of these uh, tanks down to the lava layer with a bucket, fill it up with eight buckets, drag it back up, dump it onto the uh, onto the uh, geothermal generator, and that's how I generated my power. Um, now the last thing that I wanted to show you was the part where I'm actually being lazy. And that would be this part right here. I had an engine that, whoops, that is not going to work. I had an engine where uh, I had um, lava feeding into the engine. And I got tired of whacking this to, uh, you know, mounting it and then whacking it to make the water come, or the lava come out in that case. So all I did was, uh, let me put this down here. I would fill up my tank with lava or whatever, you know, and then make sure that this one is still whacked to yellow or to orange. And then I would take the full tank, which is, where did the full tank go? Was I a putz on that one? Okay, one, two, we'll do four, okay? There we go. Okay, so then I would take the full one, walk up to my, uh, to my engine or my tank or whatever, and then just drop this onto place. That would fill with the, the bottom one, I didn't have to whack it, and then I could just pop it right back off once it was done and then run off and fill it up again. So that's what I meant. And that's why I said, you know, you don't need the, uh, uh, to make your liquid X like this. Um, although for, for things that don't pump out like railcraft tanks, obviously you do want the liquid ducts because then you can just have fun like that. And, oh, uh, see how it's orange? It's not gonna accept anything. Pop it to blue, now it accepts, see? And uh, so, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Hope this is helpful for you. And just have some more fun here to pat out the video. Do, 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 do. Ta da! Is it magic or what?